Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to Signum Perfectum. At least that's what I like to call it. It could be in numerous other types of pronunciations, but in my mind, I go Harry Potter, and I'm like, Harry, it's Signum Perfectum. So what is Signum Perfectum? It's a collectible card game where opponents fight in turns, casting magic upon each other. Simple, easy to know. They have a, a card appendix you can see. Tells you all the cards, five pages of them. I have no idea what in this means, so I mean... Card art looks, you know, interesting. I'm not going to say fabulous, I'm not going to say terrible, but... Interesting is a good adjective to use. So let's go train. Welcome. So we have a dwarf. It says, welcome stranger. I'll show you how things work. Thank you. Game is divided into turns. Here's the remaining time. I don't think that's necessary to have a timer on a card game. But we'll see if that's a hindrance or a help. Clicking here ends your turn. Good to know. Player who can be highlighted. Player who can play is highlighted. That's me. Haunted Huss. Uh, I'm some type of apprentice with 10 something. This card is uh, in the left hand. Left hand adds power to spells and text. Look for L. Power of the spell is shown as buttons on the left. Okay. This card's in the right hand. Right hand adds duration to spells. In text, look for R. Spell duration is shown as buttons. Good to know. Dropping a card here, discards card, and take another one. Clicking on the sign when the same as on the card in the left hand. So we're going to do that. Great, you increase the card power. Yes. Wow, you increase the card power to level. Okay, maximum, okay. Now drag the card from the left hand to the right hand. Yes. Fantastic. Now each now catch the design in the Card moves up, so drag it up to cast. In a real game, if you miss the sign, you are hurt. Okay. This is the counter for Sictum Perfectum. Okay. When you take 10 same signs in a row without a miss, you get two times bonus for the sign. You will lose it if the other sign cast or missed sign. Okay, there are a lot of systems in place, a lot of clicking. But they start hurting with some player new cards. You'll see icons, spells casted on you. Here will be icons of spells cast on the enemy. Now you know all. No, I don't. That's that's a terrible tutorial. Okay, I guess we'll just. So this is our quest. Actually, let's go back to the front page. The quest. Complete quest to get rewards. Competitions. Win competitions to get rewards. There are no competitions at the moment. So this is our quest. Dark Lord Vigo. Defeat Dark Lord Vigo to earn tremendous rewards, but be careful as your ego might bruise afterwards. And we get three of these leathery looking cards. This is Pixie. He's an apprentice. Banshee, a mage. Uh... It's either Gatlin or Kathlin. It's a high mage. And then we have Vigo with the Archmage. So yeah, I guess you have to beat them in order. So Vigo's not in the demo. That could be an E as well. This high mage is not in the demo. And this Banshee, so all we have to play for is Pixie. So we click on the icon of the same card. Then we drag it over here. We move it up to cast. Uh, 
Move over here. Move up the cast. Man, that's uh, that's tough. But I guess in retrospect, if you had no timer, you could just cast infinitely. So you have no idea what he's doing. He's just got he's got Libras and and cancers in his hands. So he's got double Libra now. And is that Capricorn? Like I don't know signs very well. That's so we have uh So we cast that. So it has to be that card. You can't alter the card. Move over here. I hate that it's the first symbol out too, because there's no time to Because like literally it's the first sign that pops up, so you don't have time to to move the card and click on it at the same time. I don't know if we're winning. I think we're winning. I mean, he's lost what appears to be health. And we still seem to have our full blood circle. So I don't know what he's doing. Uh, so he's about to heal himself. I see that. So I need to hit the 69. Bring that 69 over here. I'm going to cast it. Hit another 69. Move over here. See, it's the first symbol out. Cast it. Looking for the Libra. Cast that. Look for another 69. Over here, another 69. Damn it. At least I got it ready to play next time. He did something to me. I don't know. Like, I have no clue. Like, I have no clue if I'm winning. Am I losing? Like, it has, like, all these descriptions on the cards. You have no time to read it. Because you have 30 seconds to match and then read and... Put over here. Get rid of it. Put over here. Get rid of it. I guess I couldn't play any more cards. I guess you're supposed to be reading them in between rounds, like why he's ever doing his bullshit at the moment. Like, I should be reading my cards. Heal and damage affects this sign. Inverse for our turns. Copy enemy spells with the sign played for our turns. Like, there's just a lot going on. Like, he has, like, six things underneath him, and I have nothing over here on me. So I have no idea what he's about to... So... Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Move you over here. Play you. Like, I'm just like rushing to get these. Like, I got that out. Thank God. I guess I don't know. Spells with this sign are easier. This sign will appear more often. Heal damage effects with this sign. Heal damage effects with this sign. Heal damage with... Oh, same with three guard. Why'd you read it three times in a row, dummy? Um, I don't still understand what's going on. So I'm looking for 69. Boom. Get out of my hand. Move that over here. 
69, get out of here. 69, get out of here. Uh, Damon was the first one to. Uh, so we're looking for that. Get that. Move over here. Oh, I know. I got that off, you son of a bitch. So he has two health left. I have seven left, I guess. I feel like I've sent a lot more spells his way. So I feel like he should already be dead. Double 69. A little luck. A little H action. We're over here for a little H action. Get out. A little H action. Get out of my hand. A little H action. I'm not going to get this one off. I'm not too sure what I did, but I just... I mean, I was just serving those, serving those cards like hamburgers at McDonald's, and now I just have this hand with nothing in it. Like, why? Is he dead? Is he alive? Will I have much cards to play next time? No, probably not. I'm almost out of cards, I believe. So, is it possible to? So we're going to just click on this. Why won't you go to the other? Oh, you're already ticking, that's why. I'm out of cards, so... Look, sir, all I did was match the symbols to the cards and then throw one of my hands as fast as possible. If that's not a winner, then I don't know what is. So, player has no cards. Take each turn bigger hit. So, he's going to win because he doesn't have any... Because I don't have any cards in my hand. Take each turn, bigger hit. So technically he could just pass his turn non-stop and I would just die. He's, it looks like the developer just took pictures of his hands. Oh shit, that was violent. It looks like the developer just took pictures of his hands and then cut them out and just pasted them into the game. Excuse me? Did you just yell on that double 69? So, ladies and gentlemen, that's, uh... Signum Perfectum. I'm gonna go back into this screen, because that title music is way too freaking loud. Uh, if you enjoyed the game, there'll be a link to the demo in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe as always. Like, I won and I'm still fucking clueless. Like, I know that one, I'm terrible at card games. Two, I didn't really take a lot of time to understand the mechanics. But three, to my credit, you only have 30 seconds. And you have to match symbols and move cards to different hands. Match more symbols and move them to a different part of the hand. Then move them up to play them. And each card has like 15 words of a description. So it's like you have time to read them, match them, and play them. So like, I don't know. But uh, I will be back at it again tomorrow with some more indie game demos. Until then, I'll haunt you later. Like this game will in my dreams.